guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Now, we are here today and we're finally, finally going to be getting Lee up to the max level and then giving her a bit of a mess. Around. That doesn't sound weird, I don't know what I'm talking about. Then we're going to shoot her into Arena. Now, I got a cheeky £10 gift card the other day, so I am waiting at the moment to do... Oh, by the way, um, I've had a lot of people asking about the trick-or-treat codes, and um, yeah, they don't work every day, they only work once. But I've had a few people saying that um, when they've been typing these in, I can't spell, that they haven't been working at all. Now, they, they do only work once a day, so it's already been redeemed, so you can only redeem codes once. So everybody should be able to type in, but of course you do need to make sure you actually have an account which is logged in. And it's probably worth making sure that you've dropped your email in here as well, just to make sure. So just something to consider before you do it. There's no reason it shouldn't work. Double check your spelling, make sure you're logged in. Bang, you're flying. Okay, so let's get into lead today. Now, I went through the prize war yesterday. Uh, I think we've got, this is the last stage. It's the last day to actually smash through the prize wall and get as many stamina potions and bits of her as you possibly can because you don't want to miss out on this one now someone did point out that i'd missed out on two i think it was the mary prize wall and one other where i just didn't bother with it because i wasn't fussed about the character um now i've looked back on it a bit of a novice thing to do really but um it's kind of okay where I am now because my all of the characters in the prize wall events I've always kind of always managed to get maxed even sort of by not trying. Uh, Bolt was the only one like I said yesterday that I was a little bit like oh god I need to unlock him because he's stupid and then Zeus was a little bit sweaty as well. This one's been a bit scary as well actually but let's get Lee up to six stars. This is, this is a big moment she's such an awesome character. The newest character going up to six stars I've already got to 330 let's do it here we go. Bang, six star Lee. Now that's pretty awesome in my opinion. Her HP's gone up by 1.7 million. Her basic damage has gone, that's 17 million is it? One, two, three, four, four, yes, 17 million, sorry. Her, God, it's counting the numbers like a noob. Her basic damage has gone up by 10, by 1 million. Oh. <laughs> What am I? What am I even going on about? But basically, her powers increase. Let's let's just say that. She's rocking the glasses. Represent cool. So she's gone up to thirty million. That's not put her above sort of joy and my other cats, obviously, because they've had their mods built. So yeah. So I had a question yesterday, which I thought I'd answer: is whose friendship disc should you be working on with? Lee. Now, that's a very good question. So I'm focusing on Go-Go's. You can see that I've been slowly doing the missions there, but I'll explain why. So the shield from Big Heart, Big Heart are increased. That doesn't make sense, is it? The shields from Big Heart are increased by X amount. Then she gets HP and skill power, and the skill power is also going to increase the shield. When the shield from Big Heart expire, they grant four stacks of Hardy, which is good. Hardy's for dodging buffs. Each stack of Hardy on a unit will block a debuff which is fantastic then lee and it's just it's not the one today i can't even speak lee and allies heal themselves for 10 of the max hp each time they use a stack of hardy from any source so what that means is any character who's giving stacks of hardy and now meaning they're going to heal which i really like so yeah it basically turns into a bit of a bit of a healer but let me just break down claw houses one anyway so lee gains two percent reduced damage taken per stacks of hard she has now okay i don't think this one's good but you could argue if you put her in a stack of hardy team and you got her up to the 50 percent which you could obviously upgrade probably get that to 10 so she only needs five stacks to get a 50 then she's not going to receive any damage but then the idea of this is that i'm just shielding 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 team 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 i always like to use the players to sort of give team advantage so how many shards do I have left over here? So I've got up to six. I've got 245. That is absolutely beautiful. So we can get a red skill. Oh God, what the hell? We can get a red skill unlocked as well. Big Heart now cleanses and grants the ladder increase in base damage for duration. That's brilliant. So what, what I'm doing with the skill that I've got on here, that's using 98 shards. That's fine. Get up to level 19. So what I'm doing with the skills that I've got 
are making sure Big Heart is madness. So she transforms to a panda form to encourage allies. She heals herself and allies for 50% of their max HP and provides a shield. So now I'm looking at building this character and if I put her on with Ariel, I could max out her shield move and she'd be such a ridiculous healer with her friendship disc as well which means everybody's going to be healing after the shield breaks they're going to heal before the shield so basically big heart heals them gives them a shield then when the shield ends it heals them as well and gives them a stack of hardy that's pretty ridiculous so that's why i'm looking at that friendship disc there and i'm very very high potential to build the mods in that direction as well um or if i didn't rise i already had a yellow skill so yeah that's my aim there. And I've got to yellow 12, which of course you guys know I want to go up to yellow 15 as soon as possible. But oh my goodness, do do the badges just take millions of things to level up? They do. So we can get that upgraded. So th there's a good start. We're in a good start. So I don't know about her friendship mission yet. I probably still am not on a good enough level to get through there because obviously honey lemon's quite lacking. But let's see if I let me see if I can quick fire it. Oh my goodness, I can. On a 30 million power. Let's get a Okay, cool. So let's see what happens here. Can Lee carry this herself? She swags in. Shout. H Hill? <laughs> She's so stupid. I love the cartwheel move as well. Wee! What? What just happened? Someone did 265 million damage. What? What even was that? Was that a glitch? What did that damage? I I refuse. <laughs> I refused that that was um, Rex that just did all that damage. There's no way. It's the most stupid battle ever. <laughs> yes. Shout. Uh oh. Oh my god, we can't become. I forgot. I forgot about Sully. Sully used to be my favourite character. I wonder if he's any good now, Sully. Because that's actually stuck me. So this is going to be another one of those annoying friendship missions where I'm going to really need to push on on Honey Dew Lemon or Honey Lemon Go Go Lemon Dew Honey Go. So that, I like it when it happens because it actually forces me to work on other characters. So I'm a little bit stuck on that for now, but it's good. We still got up to six stars. So let's push and do a bit of PvP with her because obviously it's the last day to stay until it, ref or is it already refreshed? I can't remember. No, it's the last day and I've got 13 fights. I've won most of the fights actually. So let me just trickle down this and we'll do a few fights so let's have a look so i'll listen my team at the moment i guess just for the sake of the video i'll take chippendale off because i don't want everybody to die instantly i want to see lee doing a bit of a thing there and she's such a phenomenal tank so you, you can see that she just chills at the front absolutely no nobody's business no worries at all she's just such a fun character to have visually as well on your team so I've actually formed a pretty reasonable team here. Now, I obviously like to sw switch back and forth with Pocahontas and Chippendale, but I quite like the team I've got here. It's a huge shield and healing team with Joy, Ariel and Lee now, but it really does work. Now, okay, yeah, I might not be firsting the best synergized teams here. So I probably should, t I should probably take Bolt off so we can see what um, she's like. So let me drop Bolt off. So let me fight this one here, because this is quite a well-made team here. Bags, I've had a few people ask me to work on bags as well. Oh, and I'm versing Bolt as well. So I'm going to take Bolt off here and just put like Pair of Plaps on. You know he's not the world's greatest character. So let's have a look. So Zeus is... Oh, see Bolt. Bolt still... Still picked away there. Is Perry going to catch... I shouldn't have insulted Perry. He just clapped. He just clapped everyone then. I don't even know. That's the only time I've ever seen him do anything useful. <laughs> but he absolutely smashed them. So that's nice because what, what happened there was Lee was able to take the hits from Dash. So it basically meant that Dash wasted quite a lot of his um, move. So I really like that. I think that's a really cool thing there. 
So Lee is a good counter for Bash there because of how much health she has. So that's good. I'm going to be in position one by Miles here. So let's do another 182,000. I see a couple of people have Violet here as well. Mr. Incredible is quite notoriously known to be in the arena team, so that's not anything special. <laughs> Look at her fly through and just kill everybody. It's so stupid. I felt bad for Mr. Incredible. He just got demolished. I felt bad for that man. Okay, I'm only in sixth? Come on, man. I want to get into the higher one. Oh, we, we've got some more Zeus teams here. It's so I just love every new character they added in this game. It's just stupid. I'm flying. I should be. Okay, let's just not fight that one. Maybe the game's giving them a chance, you know. It sees how good I am. Oh, this is a cool, a cool team I'm going against here. We've got a Winfred in here. It's nice because you can see that Perry stays alive. Oh, she went the wrong way. <laughs> Why did Lee just skirt off? Lovely. I want to pick on an easy team. My arena team is coming through. It's coming through, lads. Still in fifth, that's depressing. But there we go. That's a pretty solid battle. So we've got Lee up to the highest level. Do make sure you smash the like and subscribe button, guys. And do consider pushing that join button and coming to join the channel for 99p a month and get a sick little emoji next to your name. I'll see you, legends, in the next one.